you know, I always say it's really easy to make beautiful footage look great, but that's not what we do every day in broadcast editing. Mm. You know, so much of a broad, you know, what's really hard is making terrible footage look great. Yeah, that's the wor- That's that's what makes you a better better editor. If all your footage is beautiful and wonderful and it's well structured and well thought out, yeah, you're not going to be a great editor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like a calm sea will never make a good sailor, as they say. <laughs> right. There will always be situations throughout our career when we're confronted with footage that is either badly shot in some way or has missing content. There are hundreds of reasons why this could happen, and there really is no sense in trying to blame someone on the production. It creates bad feeling and doesn't endear us to our employers. As we discussed at the start of this chapter, we should start looking at these situations as challenges, a battle that we have been forced into but one which brings out the very best in us. In this set of four tutorials, we're going to look at various concepts, techniques, and creative thought processes that will help us in many of the scenarios we'll often find ourselves in. So, let's get started. So I was was shooting all this stuff, and I was like, okay, I'm not going to ask that question, or I'm not going to get that shot. Or I'm going to mess up that end shot. Yeah. Or I'm going to, you know, fill in the blank. Because these are the type of things that, that you're running that up against. Every right. single day. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I could have shot that. I mean, not saying it's not beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. And, you know, there's, there's loads of actuality scenes. There's loads of, because we teach reality and actuality observational documentary as well. Yeah. There's loads of beautiful stuff. But I knew when I had a very specific part of a tutorial, like, I don't know, somewhere in tutorial. 9.8 or something like that, I'd go, right, okay, we're going to teach this. So, okay, well, I'm not going to get that reverse shot on there. How would we do that? Yeah. So I would I would deliberately shoot a floor within the footage. It was a very long, drawn-out process. It was writing. I wrote everything first, and then um, I wrote, and then I was shooting the film, and then I just went into production and um, started structuring in them. And then I did a lot of research as well around what everyone else was doing in online training. I mean, no one was teaching the craft. Still, no one, no one is doing any courses in, in certainly to a, a professional level. Uh, there's some courses you can do, like, you know, if you want to be a good wedding video editor or something like that. I mean, yeah, there's some stuff around that. That's Plenty of stuff on YouTube. <laughs> and it's, there's no, I mean, we get hundreds of emails going, I've looked everywhere and you are the only people who teach the craft. 